Hey everybody, welcome to Samyara's Den, where we explore everyday things in your kitchen. Ever since we went into lockdown, we've been thinking about getting really good coffee at home, but we never really had the space for a coffee machine to make, you know, like your um, foamy cappuccinos or your uh, really nice espressos. And uh, after a lot of research, we stumbled upon this little contraption over here, which is called a mocha pot. I really didn't know what it was at first, and it did take a bit of research to understand how it functions and how it goes about preparing espresso for you. You've got a bottom chamber, a little chamber in between to hold your coffee powder, and then the top chamber, which collects the espresso once it passes through. But how does it do that? Uh, let's take a look. So I'm gonna unscrew the contraption over here. And uh, this is the top chamber. Now, you can take a look over there, and you can see that it's got little holes uh, over here as well, where it, um, the steam water goes upward through it and then it uh, passes through this little chamber over here and then collects in the upper chamber. Um, this is where we actually put our filter coffee. I just ordered uh, two types of uh, roasts from uh, Blue Tokai. Uh, this one's the Binakere Estate and I'm just going to pop that in front for you to take a look. And the other one that I've got is a dark Vienna, Vienna roast. Um, it's a much stronger coffee, uh, this one. The, this one's a medium stock, medium dark coffee over there. But anyway, so you pop in the coffee powder into this chamber over here. You don't need to like press it in a lot, it's just a little bit. And uh, I'm actually gonna do that for you to take a look. So my uh, lovely assistant, my wife Diliara, is gonna get me a spoon that I'm gonna uh, use to put in the coffee over here. So, just gonna slowly, oops, open this up and thank you very much. So we've got this little chamber and I've got my spoon and I'm gonna take some of this coffee grain, load it up into this chamber. A really cool thing about um, Blue Tokai is they actually give you options of how fine you want your uh, coffee beans ground up to and they do have a, a separate selection for mocha pots so that uh, you know your powder isn't too fine that it passes through the filtration system so that's really neat. I didn't pack it too tight, they advise not to pack it too tight for mocha pots, um, just give it a light dab over there and I'm gonna pour some water into this chamber and then place this in then I'm gonna screw that back on top and then we're gonna put it on the stove top we have our hot water over here now the reason I'm using uh, hot water and it's not like boiling boiling hot water it's just like near boiling hot water because uh, that's gonna help uh, this chamber heat up faster build up pressure faster and then pass the steamed water through um, the apparatus over here. Just be a little careful while handling this one. If your water's too hot, you're gonna burn your fingers. And... All right, there we go. I'm gonna pop this onto the stove and I'll be right back. Now remember, you can very well use room temperature water over here, just that it's gonna take a little longer to get hot and uh, come through, and you also risk burning your coffee in the process. Now, we have our espresso ready, and I've also boiled some milk over here. Now this contraption that I've got is called a French press, and it's essentially got like a mesh uh, over here and you pass this vigorously through milk and this causes bubbles to form essentially the foam that you need in order to make a really nice cup of cappuccino so I'm just gonna pour this milk into this French press over here 
and I'm just gonna give it a little whip. And remember, this is Amul Gold Milk, which is a 6% fat content milk, so that gives you a much creamier foam over here, a nice, really thick emulsion. Alright, that should be good. Just gonna pop this up. Look at that foam. Beautiful. And I'm just gonna pour the coffee over here. Half a cup of espresso. Oh, that smells amazing. Then we're gonna pour over the milk and foam. The disadvantage of um, making a single cup is your foam tends to get stuck at the top while you're pouring your coffee. That is a delicious cup of cappuccino. We hope you had fun watching us make this. Uh, we sure did have a lot of fun. I'm gonna link everything that I've got from wherever in the description. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.